this is Lady Robbins. Thank you for coming back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, this is a channel all about cross stitch and what I'm stitching on. For my subscribers, thank you for coming back. I appreciate you all. I am happy to see you. It is Monday the 3rd of February. And it's been crazy weather-wise already to this morning. We have had rain and a little snow, and now we have sunshine, which is great. I'll take sunshine. We were watching the news last night, and the news folks said here in the Seattle area, this has been one of the wettest Januarys on record. And man, could I tell. <laughs> My yard is just when you walk out to check on the dog or do whatever it is you need to do. It is hip waiter time back there. Oh my goodness. I was AWOL for last week. Sorry about that. I ended up with a intestinal infection, which was absolutely no fun. In fact, it was one of those things where, you know, I got up in the morning and I thought, oh, my stomach doesn't feel all that great. And as the day progressed, I just kind of felt worse and worse. And finally at six o'clock, I said to my husband, there's something really not right. And it's not a cold and I didn't pull a muscle. And so being a complete baby, I made him take me to the ER. <laughs> At six o'clock at night on a Sunday. That's never a good situation, right? But we were lucky. We got there. There was nobody in line in front of us. Um, four hours later, after they gave me some pain meds, shoved me through a CT scan, they declared that it wasn't my appendix, which was great because everybody asked me, so do you still have your appendix? And I'm like, stop saying that. It wasn't my appendix. It turned out to be an intestinal infection, which um, I didn't even get good drugs, you guys. They sent me home and said, go take ibuprofen and extra strength Tylenol. And if things aren't better, go see your um, general practitioner which was funny because on Thursday I was scheduled for my annual physical with her and so we got to talk about all sorts of things and when you are a woman of a particular age it's not so much fun having your annual because they're like you're over 55 have you had your shingles vaccine I'm like no well you have to I'm like I don't want to they're like no you have to you have to you have to have that I'm like what what about your mammogram? Have you done that? I'm like, no, I've been lazy. Okay, we'll schedule you for that. What about your flu? Have you had your flu vaccine? It was all about, you know, poking and scanning. Yikes. Yikes. I'm like, are you guys out of money? Because it seems like you're scheduling every test under the planet. Holy cow. Oh, oh and the other fun thing. Um, a few years back, they decided that they could feel lumps on my thyroid, so they want to do a thyroid scan. I am telling you, you guys, last week was absolutely no fun. But I'm back. I'm feeling better. I get to go to Disneyland this weekend. So I'm reaching for something just a second here. So ew, there's lots of glare. This is what I'm gonna stitch in the park. I am all about stitching my Star Wars stitch from my sister. This is coming with me. So, there better be sunshine down in California, let me tell you. <laughs> we, um, we are big Disney fans and we actually love Disneyland just a little, okay, that much more than Disney World. Sorry, world fans. We we like the quaint little thing that's Disneyland. We like being able to, you know, walk across the little, you know, promenade area between the two parks and just go back and forth all day long. It's like, oh, I think I want to go ride Radiator Springs. Off I go. Oh, I think we want to go to Splash Mountain. Off we go. Um, anyway, that does it for us. So we are very much looking forward to 
going to Disneyland, seeing some California sunshine. I'm gonna try something new. I've never cross-stitched in a Disney um, park, so I'm looking forward to doing that. And yeah, I am all about getting me down there and seeing some sunshine. I told other people that it's pretty funny. We always seem to go um, in February. It's like we hit February and we're like, we've had it. We've had it with Seattle rain. We've had it. Let's go to California. So I don't know how many times we've been to Disneyland in February, but I can tell you in my front closet, I have two ponchos <laughs> that say Disneyland parks on it because we have been able to get down there and bring the rain with us. But I've looked at the weather report. It looks like we're gonna be okay. So, there you go. All right, I cannot believe it, but this is my floss tube number 18. 18, I've made 18 of these things and you guys are still watching. I am thrilled. Thank you for doing that. I appreciate you being here. All right, so I wasn't on floss tube last week because I was laying around feeling yucky. But towards the end of the weekend, I did um, feel better and I got some good stitching in that first. Because yesterday was the Super Bowl and the Kansas City Chiefs won the Super Bowl. I thought that my beverage sh today should be in the Kansas City Starbucks You Are Here mug. So, congratulations Chiefs! I will confess I was rooting for the 49ers because I like Richard Sherman, but didn't happen for him. But to you guys, congratulations. It was a fun game and I stitched through the whole thing. So that always made it fun. All right. So what did I stitch on? Oh, in case you're wondering what's in here, that mess, that's just a smoothie. <laughs> it's breakfast time here. <laughs> So I'm having a smoothie in my in my mug. All right. I've been going on and on and on about freebie patterns, right? So I started a freebie. And I'm looking forward to showing you what I did. So the pattern that I started with is, and because it's a freebie, I can show it to you. This is from the Snowflower Diaries. This was um, a stitch along they did back in, I think it was 2014. And they've got monthly charts. And so I am doing the monthly charts. So here, let's see if I can get that right up against the camera. That's January. And so I've got about 500 stitches here going in January. So I got my, I got my little crow. This is the little fox with this cute tail. I am stitching this on a 32 count. Hold on. Let's see. I've got it, got it right here. Ah, I'm stitching it on a 32 count lakeside linen and the colorway is vintage pecan butter. And I really like that color. I think it's gonna look really pretty. And I spent, um, I got a you know big, big piece of it. And so I spent quite a bit of time on Saturday um, measuring it, you know, making sure it was straight, you know, pulling the thread across the top until I got a straight line, and then cutting it, and then I broke out my sewing machine and I did a little zigzag stitch all the way around. So I've got six pieces already uh, trimmed up and ready to go. I wasn't able to get enough for 12 pieces, but Acorns and Threads has ordered me another big piece, which will show up eventually. And then I'll cut that into six more pieces and I'll have enough for all 12. So there is my start on January and you should not watch football and stitch I'm just saying it took me three tries <laughs> to start this and then as I'm stitching as I'm stitching this right and I'm I'm kind of comparing it to 
the picture and I'm thinking, huh, that crow isn't as black, you know, it isn't as black, it isn't as dark as the picture that I'm looking at. And I get it, you know, colors look different, you know, from a, a computer monitor to, you know, a, a printout that you print out on your home computer. But what I found out is I stitched it in the wrong color. <laughs> there must be other charts further along in the series that use a different um, blackish color. So this is supposed, this little crow guy is supposed to be stitched in um, onyx. And I think that's by, uh, this by, yeah, Gentle Arts, the sampler threads. It's, so it's supposed to be stitched in onyx. Eh, I didn't do that. I stitched it in soot. <laughs> oh, well, I'm not mad. I don't care. I'm not picking it out. It, you know, it's fine. Um, there's a couple other places on here where um, there's other black parts. And I will <laughs> use the correct color, like the, the little fox's ears. And then, you know, the bottom of his little hooves are um, supposed to be in the onyx black. And so I'll just make sure I do those parts right. I, I don't think it's going to matter. I think, I think it'll be fine. It'll be fine. So, um, yeah, football's distracting, even if it's not your team. <laughs> I don't know what happened oh well it doesn't matter it's okay you know I I'm not mad I'm I'm okay with it I'm I'm getting a start what I what and I want to finish that and it would be really fun if I could get um, February finished and I did let's see here oh my computer's making noise let me shut that thing down um, I picked up this frame Oops, there we go. I picked up this frame at Joann's the other day. And so I am um, this is what I'm gonna put those pieces in and this will go in my front hallway. So I'm looking forward to filling that with something soon. So that was the first thing that I stitched on. No, that's not true. That's the second thing I stitched on. The first thing that I stitched on. I went nuts. I'm trying black work and I've been going on and on and on about the peppermint purple um, free sow but it's so big that I'm a little um, I'm a little overwhelmed by it and so I thought I want to try something a little bit smaller because I've never done black work and I just thought you know it'd be nice to kind of ease into that so they had showed um, a pattern oh, um, a little bit ago, and I think I showed this to you on my last floss tube. It's their um, band sampler. So what I did was um, I went up to my local LNS, which is Thread Needle, Thread Needle Street in Issaquah, Washington. And Denise, the shop owner there, is lovely. And she was very helpful because right before I had decided, okay, I'm, I'm totally going to try this um, black work stuff, but I want to start with the band sampler before I jump into this 52-week um, sal, I had been to our stitching meetup at the Renton Highlands Library. And Sheila, hi Sheila. She was stitching on a piece of Monaco fabric and she, you know, was gracious enough to let me look at her um, stitching and I felt this fabric and it's a little bit weightier and I thought, oh, that's what I need to stitch the black work on because you, know, you can't really hide your threads very well. You do kind of, you know, drag from one section to another. And so I was kind of worried about um, threads showing through, but I thought, oh, this weightier fabric would be great. And so anyway, I got up to uh, Threadneedle Street, was talking to Denise, and she says, yeah, Monaco um, is a little bit harder to get. She actually doesn't stock it, but she had a replacement. And so, 
show you this. I mean, this is just white, white, white. And I think she said it's called Linda fabric. And this is a 27 count. 27, 28, 26, whatever, I don't care. So she cut me off a great, you know, a, a really nice hunk of Linda fabric. It is um, weightier and here is my start on that black work band sampler and I'll show you the back okay so I mean it's not a cross stitch you guys this you know there there's threads dragging and you know going every which way I'll give you a closer peek at my stitching so um I really I really like this stuff and so I've got enough that I can also start the um, peppermint purple 52 week black work sal. So I'm all set with fabric for that. So I'm really excited with my progress on that. And it's a completely different type of stitching. Um, you know, it's not, you know, cross one way and then go back and cross and, you know, go down and, you know, it's not that cross country, you know, or even the diagonal stitching. It's, it's a completely different feel. It takes my head a minute to kind of start thinking about, Hey, you know, where am I going next? You actually need to plan a little bit, um, about how you're going to go. Cause as you can see on here, if I can, there's, there's these little, itty bitty squares right and they're not connected so you have to kind of figure out well how am I going to get those in as I'm stitching this vine pattern so you do have to um, kind of you know plan a little bit how you're gonna how you're gonna grab that little element as you're as you're traveling on down the line um, the other thing that um, is interesting to me is all right look at that you guys it's a waist knot so I'm like how do you how do you start and stop this stuff so I've watched a couple of black work um, videos I you know I just went to I went to the the font of all knowledge I went to YouTube and typed in you know black work stitching or something like that and um, found a gal that um, I liked and so watched two or three of her videos thought I can do it and that's what she said she starts with a waist knot now I I've gotten smarter because you know this is not all done with one piece of of thread I've got like four or five starts in here but what she suggested and I couldn't figure it out at first now I now I kind of got it is you want to put your waist knot kind of in front of your stitching and then as you're traveling along this you know this line you're catching it as you're going along and it works out great so this is super fun if um, if you want to try that um, this was a pattern I bought we'll talk about stitch from stash in a minute <laughs> um, this is a pattern I bought off of her um, I think, she, I think it's an Etsy peppermint. Well, I, it was linked from her Facebook group. It was probably, it's probably an Etsy. I can put, I can put a link down in the show notes to let you know. Um, but anyway, it was a $5 PDF instant download. So instant gratification. Um, it worked out great. The other thing that I did, I, I mean, I'm turning into a total rebel, you guys. Thanks, Lost Tube. <laughs> Is I didn't really... I didn't really dig um, her colors all that much. I, I just, they, they were a little muted. You can see that, you know, I mean, it's a rainbow, which, you know, rainbows are kind of my, my jam. I love a good rainbow, but I thought they were, you know, a little, I don't know. I thought the color was a little undersaturated, you know, whatever that means, right? I sound like I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> anyway. I decided, so what I did was I went and I pulled her colors 
and then I went to my DMC boxes and then I just picked things that were kind of that same color but there was you know it, it was brighter it was more intense so this is what I've picked for my colorway you know a couple of them are ones that she picked like like this red was was her her red and then I think this this blue was her blue but I made some swaps I made it my own I'm kind of proud of myself <laughs> okay so that was the other thing that I stitched on and then I did break out pretty little Seattle of course so I'll show you my progress on that and I all right there's there's the whole there's the whole shebang and I am working right at the end of the mountain I am putting in this this building and then filling in the um, filling in the trees that you are peeking behind the building so I'm getting good progress on this this is my planned finish for February so it's only the third I think I can totally do it it's my plan my plan is to print to finish pretty little Seattle in February I don't have any plans of FFOing it I think I'm gonna take it someplace and have it framed but I don't think I want to finish it myself so that's my plan on that um oh before I forget before I forget this Sunday for all the local stitchers the Pacific Northwest stitchers this Sunday February 9th is our stitching meetup at our normal location the Renton Highlands Library part of the King County Library system it's from 1 o'clock to 5 1 to 5 okay I will not be there sorry I'm gonna go see some sunshine and see Disney <laughs> so have a great time the room is reserved just shoot on in there like you always do um, have 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 fun stitching know that I'm there in spirit I will see you on the next one, which I'm still working on it, girls. I have not been able to secure a March time slot at Renton Highlands, so we might have to branch out to another library in March, but I'm working on it. We'll see. All right, so there's that. A um, couple of things I wanted, a um, couple of floss tubers I wanted to make you aware of. I started watching Helen D, D like, you know, David, and oh my gosh, she is so much fun. She has amazing finishes. I love the stuff she is stitching on. And guess what? Her birthday is two days before mine. <laughs> my birthday is this month in February I'm a 15th -er. she's a 13th -er, which I haven't told her yet but that's actually my uncle Mark's birthday so she shares a birthday with a pretty fabulous guy so if you haven't watched Helen D you should she's a she's a kick I totally love everything she stitches all right another floss tuber that I have been watching and enjoying is I wrote it down is geeky girls knit and cross stitch and that is CC Almond and her daughter and they're a lot of fun so they do both knitting and cross stitching and even though I'm not a knitter oh my gosh it's so much fun to watch what they're what they're knitting up she is doing um, I think it's preemie hats right now she's knitting some preemie hats and they are adorable and then of course when she shows her knitting then she moves on to her cross stitching and her cross stitching couldn't be prettier so if you need some new folks to watch if you don't know these these gals go check them out you're gonna have a good time watching those guys all right let's see what else was I gonna oh freebie charts aha this is where my head went freebie charts give me just a second I got some printed out One, two, yeah. 
Okay, so what um, what happened just a, a couple, well, probably last week, is Melissa Johnson sent me, um, I think it was a message through Messenger or through Instagram, doesn't matter. Anyway, she um, pointed, me, pointed me to um, Lizzie Kate, Lizzie Kate's blog spot. So I think it's lizziekateblog.blogspot.com. And she has a freebie this month for Valentine's Day. But not just Valentine's Day, there's, there's like 10 freebies. So I think um, Cece Allman from Geeky Girls Knit and Cross Stitch, she pointed it out to Melissa and Melissa pointed it out to me. So if you guys are looking for some free Valentine um, patterns, go check out the Lizzie Kate blog. She's got a great one. A um, couple others that I came across. Um, these I printed out. I didn't get around to printing out the Lizzie Kate one. This is from Stone Street Stitch Works. So if you go to their website, um, Stone... Oh, I can't say, <laughs> can't say that. Um, Stone Street Stitch Works... Stitch <laughs> words.com slash freebies this is under there this is a little itty bitty guy it is 35 wide by 32 high it is teeny tiny but look at that isn't that adorable i just love that so that's um one freebie that i came across and then another one is from hands-on design she launched this um this weekend so it was um it was um attached to her newsletter but it's also on her hands-on design stitchers facebook group so you can if you um, sign up for her newsletter it will come in your email or you can sign up for that facebook group and it's in the files area so thank you kathy hoberman love it so there's a couple of freebies so there's three freebies for you to get you to get you in the Valentine's Day mood and then the other thing that I have heard about through floss tube is there is um, a, st uh, a sal in memory of Leanne part of the lost in floss group she lost her battle with um, cancer and she passed last week which is terribly sad and she and her best friend were um, stitching um, what is it baby it's cold outside by heartstring samplery and so the the floss tube community a couple of gals have decided that they want to start a sal in memory of Leanne and stitch that pattern. So if you need a copy of the pattern, um, Heartstring Samplery's Etsy shop has them available. I purchased mine last week. I still don't have fabric or the floss, but I will by February 14th because I am going to join in that sal. And I don't know you guys. I'm thinking that's probably what my husband has given me for my birthday because I don't need anything else and I just wanted to do that it's a cute pattern I think it's I think it's a very loving idea so if you want to do it with us get yourself a chart the start date is supposed to be February 14th Valentine's Day and let's all just Remember Leanne and the Lost in Floss folks. They um, they were a spark of joy for me. I, I loved their Floss Tube videos. The last one, they they were just cracking me up. Um, and and they, they were just delightful. So I hope that, um, I hope that we can get a lot of people surrounding them with love. So, all right. Stitchy, stitchy plans. What are my plans? 
I have got to tell you, I have some plans. I, um, I have decided that I need to stitch and stop spending. <laughs> That probably comes as no surprise to any of you because I had to total up my stitch from stash. Are you ready? I am $152 and 19 cents in the hole. <laughs> ah. All right. I'm gonna have to work on that. <laughs> I don't know why. It cracks me up, you guys. I think it's hysterical. I did not realize how much money I spent on cross stitch. Now, granted, I kitted up five projects by the time the month was over. I have plenty of stuff to stitch on and I'm gonna join kind of the memorial sal for Leanne. So I have I have six, six things, six brand new things to work on. So I got plenty of stuff. I am very worried about the fact that market where all the designers get together and show off their, their new releases happens in March. So I'm telling you, I do not think I am allowed to spend a nickel <laughs> in February. <laughs> That's okay, because I have stitchy plans. So, what am I going to do? So, I am... I am looking at my 24 hours of cross stitch across stick. And... I don't know if you can read those. But this month's words are leap year 20. So... I've got everything figured out except for the A's and there's two doggone A's. I don't know what I'm going to stitch for A's, but something will come to me. But I was um, looking on the Facebook group for this, the 24 hours of cross stitch and somebody had um, shown their completed chart and the bottom one for the zero, somebody, and I wish I, I wish I had written down her name, had a brilliant idea for the zero. She put down zero stitching and then wrote down a piece that she's going to FFO. And I was thinking that, that's what I'm going to do for zero. I'm just totally copying. I'm, I'm just copying it straight out. I'm going to FFO. I'm going to, I'm going to do zero stitching. I'm going to FFO something in my pile of FFO of FOs finished objects. I'm going to turn them into full, um, at least one into a fully finished object. So, um, that is one of the things that I have planned for this month. The other thing is, um, Aaron, who is Perpetual Projects, had posted on, um, I think it was on Instagram, that she has had this cute little thing already stitched up and I can't remember the story behind it but anyway she wanted to, to pass it to somebody and I said I'll take it because my niece her name is Maria so this is another thing that I'm planning on FFOing this month and give it to my niece Maria so Erin it came thank you for the lovely lovely note and when I get it finished oops sorry I didn't take it out of the plastic baggie you're getting the getting the glare there I'll show you what I create for my niece. So thank you for that. I am super stoked to have this. Um, the other thing, um, so I, I didn't tell you, I didn't quite tell you my plans. So the pieces that I'm going to work on um, this month, um, I'm gonna work on, I'm gonna keep working on the laundry series from Hands On Design. Um, my, like I told you earlier, I plan to finish Pretty Little Seattle. I'm going to keep working on the um, Black Work Band sampler. Um, oh, also the Snowflower Diaries free monthly charts. I'm hoping to get January and February done this month. And then, like I said, I don't know what I'm doing for the A's yet. So that's still, that's still blank, but that's okay. Um, Something will come to me. 
if you have an idea, <laughs> leave me a comment. Let me know because I'm, I'm a little stuck on that. And then this week for um, the stitching groups that, that I follow, um, Enchanted Stitching, I liked their prompts. So for February, the movie that all of the challenges are based on is the movie Frozen, which I think that movie is adorable. I love that movie. Um, so the four challenges, um, one of them talks about how Anna is awake and you know she's trying to get Elsa to play with her when they're little kids and that's when all the trouble starts because she you know shoots her with the with the ice um so on that one the first prompt was how did it go the sky is awake or something like that and so stitch on something that has sky in it pretty little seattle's got sky in it um the second was um then fear be, the, the fear of losing control of the magic for um, Elsa is a big part of the movie. So stitch on a piece that you're afraid of, that maybe you've made a mistake on. Well, the Seattle calendar or, you know, the, the January calendar from Snowflower Diaries took me three times to start it. There was a lot of frogging. There was a lot of fear that I'd never get it going. So that's going to cover that. Um... The third one is talking, I can't remember exact wording, but it was something about work on the whip that you haven't worked on in the longest. And I'll just go, you know, dig through my shelf. I was, I haven't figured that one out yet. And then the last one was stitch on a piece that was love at first sight, which is kind of um, Anna and was it Hans? Was that the jerk? <laughs> so um, again, Pretty Little Seattle. Um, that was love at first sight for me. So I've got two, two tasks that I can use Pretty Little Seattle for. And then of course the Snowflower Diaries January. I'll figure out the, the third one uh, or the fourth one. And those are my plans for the week. So I think I've got myself... Um, a lot of a lot of good um, ideas on how to keep my stitching interesting this month so I think that will do it oh I say that and then there's always one more thing I have a stack of old um, just cross stitch and country craft magazines sitting around here and I have decided that they need new homes they need, they need new homes, but I need to make it um, economical for me to ship them. So I'm tearing them apart. Don't gasp. <laughs> so what I've got here is um, some pages torn out of those magazines. And if you would like them, just um, put a comment in the comments below. I'll do the, the random comment picker. And... I will put them in the envelope. I'll I'll do what uh, Michelle Bendy Stitchy does. I'll just you know try fold them and away they'll go. So they they'll have wrinkles in them, but that's okay. Um, you can still see them. You can still stitch them. Also, I had um, I had stitched this back in November, and I want to do a pass the stash on this. So this is a Lizzie Kate. And if you would like to um, stitch the Lizzie Kate, um, same thing, I'll put it in an envelope, I'll mail it anywhere. Um, in the comments below, um, tell me that you would um, like to stitch thankful. Um, do all the things you're supposed to do. Don't say giveaway, be 19 or 19, 18, you have to be 18, um, so be a subscriber. And I would love to send this straight out to you. So if you'd like the Lizzie Kate, um, tell me you want to stitch thankful. All right, so um, magazine pages. I'm going to hold these up. If nobody claims them, I'm just going to recycle them. No farm, no foul, right? Um, these are just two magazines. I pulled them apart. Um, here is the first one which is adorable. So you're getting the, um, the chart to stitch this little insert, which says, what does it say? 
tiny treasures bring simple pleasures. That's what it says. Tiny treasures bring simple pleasures. So if you'd like to uh, stitch this, tell me you'd like to stitch the treasures. All right. Uh, the next one, it's kind of the, these um, blue inserts. Um, so if you would like to stitch up these, tell me you'd like to stitch the, they're calling them hearth warmers. Tell me you'd like to stitch the warmers. Okay, warmers is your word for this guy. Um, this one, oh, I think this one's really pretty. This reminds me of those old, um, those blue plates that come out once a year. So if you'd like to stitch this one, they're calling it um, Starry Night. Tell me you'd like to stitch the night. Okay, a couple more. Then this is the pattern um, to do these blocks on the afghan. So if you'd like to stitch um, this up, tell me you'd like to stitch the afghan, okay? And then last one, is it's stitching the top so what are they calling this they're calling this the sampler so if you would like this tell me you'd like to stitch the sampler all right so i hope somebody wants these but if not that's okay um i am trying to do the uh, minimalist challenge this month where you Every day you remove um, one item from your home. So now I'm not gonna go crazy. Um, I'm, I'm gonna remove one item every day, okay? Now, if you wanna go crazy, it's supposed to be the, um, the, the, the number, you know, how, how do you say this? So, so on February 1st, you remove one item. February 2nd, you remove two items. February 3rd, you remove three items. Get, get where I'm going. February 4th, you remove four items. You get down to the 29th, <laughs> I think I'm going to be down to pencils and erasers. So I'm not going hardcore. I'm just trying to remove, you know, one item a day to kind of get my, get my junk under control. So, there we go, that's another plan. Not stitchy related at all, but just more housework. All right, you guys, this video got long. I hate it when they're over 30 minutes, I really do, so I apologize. Thank you for sticking with me, and I will see you hopefully in a week. Until then, you guys, stitch happy. All right, love you. see ya, bye.